get straight to the yellow vest protests which have once again gathered steam near the Champs Elysees Boulevard in Paris. This is the fifth consecutive weekend of demonstrations in France against the reforms proposed by the Emmanuel Macron government. Protesters waved flags and carried signs. Police attempted to block the large crowd and sprayed tear gas as clashes broke out. Meanwhile, five bare-breasted women dressed Marianne, the symbol of the French Republic, and joined the Yellow Vest protesters clad in red hoods with bodies painted silver. The women came to support demonstrators in the heart of Paris. Earlier in the day, police also conducted various road checks and searched motorists' as vehicles in an effort to limit the violence. Shops and department stores have been closed for the day as the protesters defied calls by the French government urging them to stay at home. The Yellow Vest movement began five weeks ago, initially against the rise in fuel taxes, but since then has spread far and wide, taking on a number of other issues as well, including education reforms. And now we have our correspondent, uh, Elena Casas Montanez, uh, joining us live from Paris. Elena, thank you so much for taking time out. Uh, talk to us. My first question is this. You were telling us last weekend how the protests had reduced in intensity as compared to the previous weeks. How is it this weekend? So things are much calmer this weekend than we've seen over the last couple of weeks. There are a few thousand protesters who've turned out today, uh, some on the Champs-Élysées and some around the Opera, as you as you were saying there, but we've seen no incidents of violence so far today. Uh, the pro protesters are chanting Macron resign and uh, parading up and down the Champs-Élysées, uh, but thus far we've seen no evidence of uh, what we saw over the last few weekends, which was people who were deliberately turned out with the intention of fighting with police, quite clearly people who were intentionally violent, and which gave rise to a very large number of arrests. By this time last Saturday there would have been over 500 arrests in Paris. This morning there have been about 40. Right, uh, Elena, we've also seen the French unions uh, sort of come out in protest and, uh, you know, they want to replicate the kind of uh, protest that the Yellow Vest movement has managed. We've seen this Yellow Vest movement also inspire other groups to come out in the streets uh, to protest. How difficult is it making for uh, law enforcement authorities in Paris and across France? Well, obviously, the police are extremely stretched and they were trying to encourage people not to come out and protest today, precisely because they are very stretched after having worked for four Saturdays in a row and also having mobilised a, a huge amount of officers in the middle of the week to carry out a 48-hour manhunt of the Strasbourg Christmas market shooter. Uh, but, uh, as I was saying, this Saturday, few protesters have turned out uh, in central Paris. Uh, there was a union march yesterday, um, but the unions, like politicians of both the left and the right, are finding it very difficult to attribute any part of this yellow vest movement to themselves. Uh, the movement was spontaneously organised on social media and has no leadership and no real specific aims. So a section of it uh, is, has been calmed, has been, uh, is pleased with the concessions that President Macron made in a speech, of course, on Monday night, where he announced, most importantly, a significant rise in the minimum wage, and where we also saw a distinctly different tone uh, from Macron. We saw a very humbled and apologetic president. It's a very different way from how he's addressed the French in the past. So certainly a, a section of yellow vests and about half of the public now think that the movement has achieved something. It's got bigger concessions out of the president than they perhaps could have hoped for even a week ago. Uh, and so people feel that it's time for the movement to come to an end. There is, though, a determined hardcore who are out protesting today and indeed continuing to block roundabouts and motorways across France. Elena, I also wanted to ask you, we're talking about these protests in the fifth weekend. And these are protests and riots that Paris and France hasn't seen in recent decades. How much more uh, time is this going to last? Are, are there calls for another protest next weekend as well? <laughs> 
Well, it is subsiding, as I was saying. We've seen uh, far, far fewer protesters thus far out onto the streets than we saw last weekend, and that's partly because Macron announced significant concessions uh, on Monday. He went much further than most people expected him to and announced, uh, apart from that minimum wage rise, also that overtime won't be taxed starting from the 1st of January and a tax cut for low-income pensioners. So a number of people feel that the movement has achieved something. And uh, while these protests have, of course, been much more violent than what other ones we've seen in recent years, this is generally how politics works in France. Uh, when people are not happy with reforms, they do take to the streets quite readily. And the government almost always ends up doing a U-turn, stepping back, as we've seen Macron do today. So we're definitely seeing the movement subside, uh, partly, of course, because it's also bitterly cold and the Christmas holidays are approaching. Uh, so I think it's unlikely there'll be many people turning out to protest next weekend.